electrons to move around in. Here's how it works. With the circuit off, electrons in material A are stuck in their high energy, high stress atoms. Out of reach and on the other side of this electron barrier are material B atoms, which would offer an easy, cushy, low energy level position. Let's turn the circuit on. Now you've offered electrons a path to happiness. Since they can't go any other way, they begin flowing through the circuit to material B. Back at material A, the atoms are losing electrons, because that's where the electrons are coming from, and they begin turning into positively charged ions. As we mentioned before, ions always want to be neutral, so these guys need to find a negative charge. So they go to where the negative charges are, in material B, where all the electrons are going. You'd think that these ions would just meet up with their lost electrons and become neutral atoms again. But unfortunately, the electrons are way happier where they are now, so the ions have no choice but to kind of mingle with the atoms of material B. So what we've got is kind of a mishmash with B atoms mingled with A ions. As the battery discharges, electrons and ions are making their way from A to B. When you can't fit any more material A ions into material B, the battery is fully discharged. To recharge the battery, you just do things in reverse. Instead of a circuit, you're putting an energy that forces the electrons back into material A. The ions then leave material B and rejoin their lost electrons, and the battery is ready to discharge again.